guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be cooking some pino beans, two bags. Uh, I got this from the Dollar General. Um, two bags of pino beans. And I like taco sauce as my seasoning. And I don't use the um, salt pork, but I like to use the bacon slices. I'm going to be putting garlic, minced garlic. Using Tony, saturated Creole season, black pepper, um, seasoned salt, and an onion. And I might add a little bit of um, tomato sauce up in there. But today, yeah, I'll be taking this. And here we go. So right now I'm just taking the good beans from the old beans and um, looking to see that um, if you have any um, rocks inside of here, make sure you thoroughly wash your beans off because you never know what's in here because it just packs them inside this little bag and um, this is what you have to do. You have to basically um, pick out the good beans and whatever else you find here and wash these beans very, very thoroughly. So that's what I'm doing right now. And yeah, so when I come back, um, I'll be going to wash all these beans off and we'll go from there. Okay, y'all, so uh, I already washed thoroughly my um, beans. And rinse them off. So you guys make sure you uh, wash all your beans off thoroughly. Um, rocks and stuff be inside of them. Um, yeah. So they're cooking right now. So I'm going to. Um, while this is cooking over here. I'm going to prepare to uh, cut up my onion. And throw in my seasonings. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to cut, prepare to cut this onion. Just take it. That's it. And these onion pieces really doesn't have to be too small because it gives it flavor when you prepare your beans. So, you could cut the onions however size you, just, you want them. Usually I'll cut them enough where they um, get little small pieces. But today I'm going to do something different. They're not too small like I usually cut them. And so I'm going to take my bacon slices and I just cut them in little like pieces. It's, this is acting like as a salt pork so when you put bacon inside of um beans it really it, it the fat on here it makes it have that bacon smoke flavor so that's why i use bacon i really don't like salt pork but this is for my um family so when i'm cooking for my family i'll add seasoning to it so you could slice these bacon slices up however you want to but i like them like that so i'm gonna add this to the to the uh, mixture of beans on the stove. 
Okay, so now I'm going to just add the onions. And after that, I'm going to just add the bacon to it. And then I'm going to add just a sprinkle of the garlic, minced garlic, to give it more flavor. It's kind of hard when you're just using the can. Then I'm going to um, use seasoned salt. Ooh. And just a little bit of this Tony Creole seasoning. And off camera, I'm just going to add just a little pepper because holding this phone, this camera phone is not, it's not, um, I can't do it. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to let this simmer down and all that good flavor is going to marinate into these beans. And when we come back, you'll see the adding of the tomato um, sauce and the ingredients of the chili sauce. All right. Stay tuned. Take the girl up at the coldest water bottle. Um, dot com here waterfall. And like I said, this um cooler right here is the bomb.com. So hit your girl up, go to the coldest water bottle, hit waterfall. Okay. Get you one. And get you one that. Lifetime guarantee, y'all. So, yeah, they're cooking real nice. Yeah, that's why my um, beans are cooking. I'm going to drink some herbal, herbal fruit tea. They have raspberry Country peach, passion, wild zinger, trueberry, and black cherry. I'm gonna put this in my coffee pot. And um, this is how the packages look. So I'm gonna try either trueberry or. I think I'm going to try this, the raspberry tea. It's supposed to be good for your blood because I am anemic. And so, yeah, I'm going to try this and pick it with my coffee maker. Um, I got this at the Food Co. for, I think this whole package was uh, $3 and something. And yeah, come with 18 tea bags. So I'm going to get these three, place them in here. I usually have uh, the filters, but I have friends that like coffee a lot, and they just use all my filters, so I have to use it. Put it like that inside the, where you put the filter at for the coffee. And then I'm going to button, turn it on. And then I'm going to take this. Ooh, it's 
Wait for So I have to stop the camera to close it because I have to turn it back on. And this smells so good. So you guys might want to try some of these teas. It smells just like raspberry. It's called Just to can't focus the camera. Herbal tea sampler, and it smells so good. There we go. Tea is almost done. Okay, so we're back at the beans and all of the uh, bacon and the onions and the seasoning has melted. Began to get inside the uh, beans and. Okay, so now you guys, uh, you see the beans has really been cooking down, and it has changed the color and the texture of the um, bean that is cooking. And so you can see how the bacon has also come together with those beans. So when we come back soon, they should be getting cooked. I probably have to add a little more water to this. And I'm going to show you that when I come back. So just stay tuned. So as you can see y'all the beans have already settled down and this is how they look and uh, I think I'm going to have to add a little bit of water because they're they're still kind of like even though they look like this they're still kind of um, not hard but almost there and um, I'm just going to add just a little more water and I have um, ground beef getting ready to cook um, to add that to it. And as you can see, I'll just put it in. And once it get almost heated, I'm gonna add my seasoning to this. Okay, so now this is what they're looking like. I added two more cups of water. And yeah, uh, so it takes about two hours for beans to get really cooked. I'm gonna add some ground beef to this and um, add the seasoning. And we'll come back from that to that I mean and um like I said now you can see that bacon in there it's making it it's like smoked bacon so it's gonna be real good and um yeah so this is what the outcome it is and I'll show you when I come back stay tuned for me adding the ground beef okay now I'm um, cooking the hamburger meat that I'm going to put inside the beans I'm going to just put a little bit of seasoning on this because I'm already going to add some chili and taco sauce to it So the meat get brown. Let's stop it right there until it get brown and then we'll come back and add it to the beans.
Okay, as you can see, it's already done. So I'm going to drain this and then add the tomato sauce to it. So I'm just adding the tomato sauce to it, y'all. That's the uh, tomato sauce added. You come over here, look. Beans, they're already like, come down, you see the bacon. You can eat them like this if you actually want to, but because it's already, they're like pinot, pinot beans. But we're going to add something else to it. So yeah, it's looking all good and it smells delicious, y'all. So this is how I do my beans. And every day you can just switch up your recipes because like different people uh, around the world, they cook their beans and chili beans different. And I do the same thing, like whatever you like, you just add it to it, try new different seasonings and do what you like. So I'm just gonna pour this inside here. Okay, so now I'm going to add seasoning packet to give it more flavor. And I might just add just a little bit more water to that on the consistency, consistency on how much water we need. It's getting thick. And this smells delicious, y'all. I'm just saying. So I'll usually let this cook for like maybe like 10 to 15 more minutes just to get that package of uh, salt, a mix, seasoning mix inside of there. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit more water. I don't need to put much water, but that should be enough. So, This is basically all it. Um, all I have to do is like um, cook for like 10 or 15 minutes just to get that package and the seasoning in there. So yeah, this is how I do my um, chili beans. So uh, once again, subscribe, like, and share my videos. Um, thank you for watching. And also, don't forget to get your water bottle at the coldest water bottle dot com remember to hit uh no type in um waterfall and like i said god bless you and
can't wait to see you at the next video.